Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of November 6, 2020. Well, regarding your second stimulus check and stimulus package, Mitch McConnell want, want to pass it to before, wants to pass it before the end of the year, basically. And Nancy, well, Nancy Pelosi is running for another round, two years of Speaker of the House. I don't know what to say about that one. I mean, come on, she she didn't do that good of a first on the first time of Speaker of the House, so. But it's not up to us, I guess. Her, she actually wrote a letter to her her fellow Democrats asking them for her support. And if you remember my report, I think a few days ago, it said that how um, basically her Democrats, her fellow Democrats, don't really want her to have a second term as Speaker of the House. They want her gone, basically. And the Democratic Congresswoman Cindy Axney said that it is tragic that all the suffering that American families are going through could have been avoided if we acted sooner on the stimulus package. Tell us something we don't know, right? The, the Republicans are blaming Nancy Pelosi for intentionally delaying the stimulus package because she believed that it would be a democratically run Senate. Well, here's the deal about this. There is still basically more Senate. I mean, there's 48 seats for the Republicans, 46 for the Democrats, and there's still a few seats open. The Democrats can still get two more seats, and if that happens, it'll be a 50-50 flush, and it will be only one tiebreaker. Stay tuned and find out what that is. Let's see here. Because basically, you wanted to pass a massive stimulus package with a, a Senate, a House, Senate, and Democratic president. But it sort of backfired on her. The, the Senate is basically still on vacation. It's, it won't be back till Monday. Trump will be suing more states. Sorry, I think it's funny. Trump is suing states because he believes they're committing voter fraud. Wow, I mean, do we have a president that's dumb as a box of rocks or what? The official statement from the Trump campaign is that the election is far from over and it's far from, from final. Ooh. So they, they think the elections are far from final. Oh yeah, it works. Biden campaign's statement is on January 20th at 12 noon Eastern Time, the U.S. government will escort all trespassers out of the White House, including a Donald Trump. If you're if you're expecting big changes with the Biden presidency, well, sort of be prepared for a letdown because if we have a Republican a majority in the Senate, we're sort of screwed. Which is basically a bit real thing. In the first week of November, 20 states have already reported daily record highs of COVID-19. The Senate returns back to work on Monday and says stimulus must be passed before the end of the year. So basically, the Senate now wants to pass the stimulus for the end of the year. Let's see what type of stimulus they actually come up with, right? The, the Trump administration came out and blamed Nancy Pelosi for her failure to pass a stimulus package. They also said that she is she overplayed her hand in the stimulus negotiations because she thought she would become a Democratic-run uh, Congress. They also said that her plans will backfire because the Senate will remain under Republican control. Let's find out. Because if I'm not mistaken, most of those independent uh, senators actually like to repo uh, vote Democratic anyways. So... Nancy Pelosi might get what she, her wish list is, whatever that might be. Now the Senate Republicans will be less willing to pass a the $1.92 trillion stimulus package. That's right, that means we will probably get a smaller stimulus package now. Because Nancy Pelosi basically played the waiting game. Because that was the last offer we, that they actually gave Nancy Pelosi. The government funding bill is coming out, is about to dissolve on December 11th. Because they did a temporary patch over to December 11th. And economic advisor Larry Kudlow says there is a possibility that the stimulus package could be attached to the government funding bill. 
but both Steven Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi are both saying that they'd like to keep both the stimulus package and the government funding bill as separate entities. But it's still a thought. And in politics, the Democrats' Biden presidency uh, plan, basically, may be facing a massive opposition. The obstacle is basically the Republican Senate. All changes that the Biden wanted to do, such as renewable energy sources because the Republicans favor gas and oil over clean energy. The, the Democrats, they, they want to, well, the, their plans will be basically put to stop. Because the Democrats, basically, they actually want, let's see here, expanded Obamacare, they want to increase taxes, give Medicare to all, increase the federal minimum wage, and promote renewable energy. However, the Senate, the Republican Senator John Brasso gave his input. Let's see, I'm going to get his input. What's next, right? His direct quote was, Clearly nothing will be come into law without a Senate Republicans. Without the Senate Republicans. The <clears throat> arrogance of the Democrats to put an agenda together for the Democratic-run government that is so radical, careless, and dangerous, they should now be realize that it is too radical for Americans. Ooh, yeah, it's way too radical for Americans, I don't think. And then let's see here. <laughs> but about that, though, I mean, right now, I mean, if we get a 50 50 split in the Senate, which I told you is 48 and 48 right now, the two independents, there will be a tiebreaker. And that tiebreaker would be Democratic uh, Vice President of the Senate, Camila Harris. Trump swears he's going to sue over, <laughs> he's going to sue the states that basically um, Biden is winning or has won in. He's blaming the state for election fraud. If you remember earlier, an earlier episode that I did, basically Trump was trying to tell people to go out there and vote twice. It was in an earlier episode I did, and he actually said that. To tell them to go out and vote, and vote twice. Once in mail and one in, once in person. So that'd be right there. That's why he's getting voter fraud, is because he's the one who told us to do it in the first place. Yeah, that's right. That's committed kind of felony for our president. That's not worth it. Okay, see. Get down there. Okay, but um, let's see here. He says that he has plenty of proof to back up his claim about seeing the states, but yet at this point, Trump has not provided any proof at all. He is suing Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Georgia. He's also now suing Nevada because he says Nevada is attempting to count votes from dead people and those who don't live there. Oh, wow, really? I don't see the proof on that one. And in COVID-19 news, cases are just skyrocketing in the U.S. and Europe. In fact, in the U.S., we reported 121,888 new cases on Thursday with a total fatality count of 1,210. So our COVID cases are getting very high up there. So remember to wear your masks, stay safe, don't follow Trump unless you're an idiot. That this way you don't have to worry about wearing a mask. <laughs> and, and so until next time, <laughs> just remember. So that comes kind of to make your life a bit. <clears throat> Makes it always wear your mask. Be safe for your for yourself and for someone else. But um, always wear your mask. Be safe out there. Just remember, we're all in this together. We're all we got. Oh.